can oh, buy yeah. Smooth and get Definitely. good in fighting games without losing. So I, I had to just kind of like suck it up. I had a group of people I ran into back in 2016 when Street Fighter V first came out. Because even before that, I played um, MKX, but I didn't have a group of people. Like, I was pretty much to myself a lot of the time. Sure. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very self-taught when it comes to fighting games. So I didn't have anyone sitting there really telling me how to play, what I should be doing better. The only thing I had to go off of was what, 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 what streamers and like what other players were doing. Like I used to look up to a lot of players like um, K. Brad, um, Mike Ross. I look at Justin Wong clips. Even watching like a lot of Max, watching watching a lot of Max. Even, like you know, Max has a lot of content that's very like friendly for people that's trying to get into fighting games. And like he really like, you know, it was it was really helpful. And like you know, I got the gist of it. I remember sitting there like. I, I got silver in um, what's my Street Fighter Five. I was doing combos, right? I understood how to do combos, but I yeah. didn't understand how to play neutral. I didn't understand how to, you know, have eight tiers. I didn't understand what's what's frame data. I remember I ran into some dude in rank match, and he was he was just putting, you know, putting in some fucking pain on me. Like I'm like, bro, why can't I hit a button? Why why every time I press a button, I'm getting counter hit? And I was like, oh, uh, let, let me let me see that. So I searched that on YouTube. Like I keep pressing buttons. And getting hit, and it's like oh, it's a frame trap. <laughs> so, <then I'll, laughs> so once I learned what a frame trap was, it's like okay, now I know how to incorporate it in my game because frame traps means I had to learn frame data. So yeah, it really was a it really was like a labor of love for you. You really like you know, in a way, it seems like a like a, you really learn the hard way. But I mean, it feels like the that's kind of the only way. You know, sometimes you really just bump your head. And really take that time and just assess, like, yo, I really need to do these things. Damn. I may get and I think up. in general, that's such a common problem in fighting games, right? Like, I feel like fighting games as a genre have a really hard time, like, teaching people, like, hey, here's the stuff that you should really be doing. Like, right. it's hard to teach fundamentals in this yeah. game, and I don't know why that is. Probably because, well, in my opinion, it's like a like a win now type thing, right? And when you when you're in that win now mentality, holy shit! I thought he died. My uh, God! I, I thought I, I thought I literally thought he was about to get stunned. Um, but um, when you play competitively, right? There's always like this like this lingering win now attitude that you have, and like nobody wants to sit there and just continuously, especially if you're competitive, nobody wants to sit there and continuously just lose over and over again. And that's where the work really starts right to figure out like what you can do better as a player oh my goodness right. what a read well say good night bucko yeah unfortunate yeah. <laughs> actually unfortunate <laughs> oh that's my god literally, that's, that's, literally, perfect? that's literally the best <laughs> that's the best, best air button in the game bro that's it's the same. best air button in the game that jumping on house by jury is i like... disagree luke jump fierce exists Oh, you're right. Ken Jump Fierce yeah. exists. <laughs> now, I definitely think Jerry has one of the best jump heavy punches in the game, but its utility isn't to jump in. It's to, it's to throw people's anti-airs off. Luke, Luke literally got the white boy jumping. <laughs> yup. Uh, you might okay. be dead. Watching some corner offense right now. Oh, this poor Lily player. What do you think Lily needs? I was about to say the same thing. Go ahead, bro. What Lily needs? Honestly, I, I don't think she's a bad character. I just think she gets outclassed. So like she yeah. has some of the best buttons in the game. Pretty decent anti-air. Her neutral is amazing. I a, lo a lot of people... Ooh, wow. Good shimmy. Uh, a lot of people, like, who are always... A lot of people, like, amongst you know, our peers who are in the Lily conversation, they're always just like... Is Lily really like that bad? It's always like Lily either really isn't that bad or Lily is top five. Cause like, I think she really just needs like, I think some of her buttons should be cancelable. Like it's kind of weird that her um her uh her stand medium punch isn't cancelable. Um, like I don't know, she just feels awkward to play. I think that's what it is too. Like she doesn't have a lot of representation, but. Like, like, when you run into a good Lily player, I'm actually fucking scared. <laughs> so I saw on yeah, Twitter yeah. today somebody talking about how she has to give up her OP for the wind storms. Otherwise, it just doesn't exist as, like, a character. But it sounds like you don't technically agree with that, either. 
Yeah, she's very reliant on her wind stocks. You're dead. Ooh. But, like, oh part God. of it. Oh, I'm damn. Up. My stuff is all good. Okay. Is it all good? Yeah, yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah we <laughs> salvaged it. Uh, okay. So what I was gonna say is like you already you already spoke to like the notion of all right you don't get your Oki because you get the stores which you're relying on which means you're right. going back to neutral and you've already talked about that neutral is so scary in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so like with her like you can't really interact with Lily in neutral. If anything, the characters that really give her a lot of problems is characters with fireballs. So she doesn't really get the opportunity to stock her win stocks. So like when she's playing when when Lily fights Jury. When she gets one knockdown, I'm I'm actually starting to play her game. Like it just takes one knockdown for her to actually like make it like a five five matchup. I, arguably, she could probably beat Jury in the matchup once once she gets one knockdown. But thing is, it's just getting that stock. You feel me? She has to get yeah. that knockdown. And that's and... Uh, with, with a lot of the cash, they there's not a lot of interaction. Like like I said, Luke has sandblast. Ex sandblast goes full screen. As soon as you try to stock it, no, stop it. Right. Oh, you have you have right. Ken. He's gonna fireball drive rush at you. You have um, JP. He's gonna use um his spikes. You have Chun. Chun is constantly on you. Like you're not gonna get a lot of opportunities to get your command grab and stop. And even.